In this video, I'm going to show you how to do a monohybrid cross. Now, before we jump into the actual problem, we're going to take a look at what monohybrid means to begin with. If we look at the prefix mono up here, it means one. So a monohybrid cross is going to be the cross that's showing how one single trait is passed on from parent to offspring. Now, if we jump into the problem here, there's some terms that we need to understand before starting the problem. It says, in rabbits, black fur is dominant over brown fur. Dominant is a term that we need to understand to help us with this problem. A dominant allele, remember an allele is a version of a trait. So in this case, the trait is fur color, Black and brown are different versions of fur color. So those are the two options of it, the variation. So dominant is going to be the allele that is expressed whenever that allele is present. So whenever the black fur allele, since it says black fur is dominant, whenever the black fur allele is present in an organism's DNA, it's going to be expressed, okay? The opposite of dominant is going to be recessive. In this case, brown fur is going to be the recessive allele. And that is the allele that is masked whenever it is paired with a dominant one. The only way to have an, a recessive allele trait to be expressed is if you have two recessive alleles together, okay? And remember that we represent a dominant allele with a capital letter and a recessive allele with a lowercase letter. The rest of the problem states, if a homozygous dominant rabbit is crossed with a heterozygous rabbit, what are the possible genotype and phenotype percentages of the offspring? There's a lot of terms in here that we also need to understand. The term homozygous, the prefix homo means the same. Homozygous means that we have two of the same allele. So we have homozygous dominant, which means we have two dominant alleles or two uppercase capital letters. But we can also have homozygous recessive, which would be two recessive alleles or two lowercase letters. The next term is going to be heterozygous. The prefix hetero means different. So that means we are going to have different alleles or one dominant, one recessive, or in other terms, one capital, one lowercase letter. When we, when we read through the rest of the problem, the term genotype refers to the genetic makeup of the organism. So that's where the homozygous and heterozygous terms are going to come in handy. And phenotype represents the physical appearance of the offspring or the organism. In this case, is either going to be black fur or brown fur. So now that we understand what the problem is saying, we can get started with solving it. So the first step of the four-step method to solving any genetics problem is going to be to pick a letter and define it. In this case, I'm going to use the, the letter B, but remember that you can use any letter that you want as long as the capital and the lowercase look different from each other. So for instance, using the letter O is probably not the best idea because you can't tell the difference between a capital O and a lowercase O sometimes. And if you can't tell the difference between dominant and recessive alleles, can't really solve the problem too well. So I'm going to pick the letter B. And using this first sentence here, I know that black fur is dominant over brown. So that means that I'm going to use a big B to represent the dominant allele, which is black fur, and a little b for the recessive allele, which is brown fur. Easy enough. Step two is going to be to show the cross. So that's where the second or the first part of the second sentence comes in handy. It says, if a homozygous dominant rabbit is crossed with a heterozygous rabbit. So homozygous dominant means it's going to be two dominant alleles or big B, big B. And the heterozygous means that there's two different alleles or big B. So that's where I get this cross. This is step two of the problem. Step three is to do a Punnett square. The Punnett square, remember, is a two by two box. We are going to take the, let's just say that this is the mom's alleles, and we are going to divide them because if all of her cells normally have 
two big Bs. When she forms her eggs, one of the alleles goes into 50% of her eggs and the other allele goes into the other 50%. So we are going to separate them. So 50% are going to have this allele in them. The other 50 will have this allele. We do the same with dads, but his are a little different. 50% of his sperm are going to have this big B and 50% will have the little b. This is meiosis coming back to you, okay? And then the next step is we play battleship. We take this big b and bring it down and this big b and bring it over to form a possible genotype of big b, big b. We do the same here. This big b comes down, this big b comes over to get another big b, big b. The bottom row is going to be a little different. We bring this big b down, this little b over to get big b, little b. And the same here, big b down, little b over to get another big b, little b. To find the genotype and phenotype percentages, we are going to look at these offspring in these four boxes. Now we notice that two out of the four have two big b's. These are known as homozygous dominant. If two out of the four are homozygous dominant, we can say that 50% are going to be homozygous dominant. And then we look and see that the other 50% are going to be heterozygous. Okay, so the babies, all the offspring that these two rabbits have, have a 50% chance of being homozygous dominant or big B, big B, and a 50% chance of being heterozygous or big B, little b. Now, when we go to the phenotypes, the easiest way is to look and count how many of the four boxes have a capital letter or a dominant allele in them. In this case, one, two, three, four of them, all four have the big B allele, which means that all four are going to have black fur. This little b is always masked when it's paired with a dominant allele. So for phenotypes, we would say that 100% of the babies, no matter what baby they have, is going to have black fur. And that is how we do a monohybrid cross.